Morning everyone, NWA Prepper here. So today I have a very important subject. Something that you all have, I hope you all have, canned goods. Do you have a manual can opener? I hope you do. A can opener is one of the the most regretted item for not having in, a, in an emergency or disaster. And I know that you can do that whole little rub the top on the concrete and uh, and get it open, but uh, I prefer can openers. And I don't think you can have too many. So let's talk about that. So we have our so we have our can that we want to get opened, and but we don't have electricity, which obviously we do because the lights. But so what do we do? What do you have? that you can get into this can. It's too hard to bite on. Um, if you use your pocket knife, um, things can happen. You can gain new scars, which that's not where that one's from, but as an example. So I think you need to have manual can openers. Now there's all kinds you can buy at the store. Uh, and if you buy an 88 cent can opener, which I have done before, you get an 88 cent can opener. So don't expect a great thing. However, there is something called a P38. So a P38 can opener is one that was designed in uh, in the military to open sea rations, which were canned military food. And it's a small metal blade. I have a few of them here. Right there with the blade that flips open. There's lots of videos showing you how to use one. Uh, lots and lots of them, just Google P38. So I wanna talk about why you need that many of them. So there's our can and there are a hundred of these can openers in this bag. Uh, and it, I was gonna open it, but it sealed you know, it's not a Ziploc bag or anything. So I'm going to leave it like it is because we're not quite ready in my group to dispense these. But a my group or two meeting ago, we talked about the need to have more of these. And so I got online, of you know, online. And I, I went to Sportsman's Guide and I bought actually two of these because uh, we all go together when we find something like this that, that's going to benefit each one equally and uh, I want to say we only kicked up two or three dollars a piece for a family unit it may have been five I don't remember it was less way less than ten dollars a family to get 200 of these can openers and what we're going to do is our next get together, which is next week. Uh, never mind, it's tomorrow. Anyway, um, which won't matter when this video is posted. But so after that, squirrels run away. We're going to split these up, and people will put them. Uh, I'm going to put two in my vehicle and my wife's vehicle. I'm going to put two in. Uh, of course, I already have them in our bug out, our bug out bags. I'm going to stash a couple where we store the canned goods here and a couple where we store them there. And so I'm going to distribute these uh, in twos uh, or threes. Depends on how many I get after the break. But I'll, I think I'll have enough to do two of these in addition to the already can openers that I have stored. But I'll be able to stick these in uh, little places that will be easy for me to forget. I do like to take, and you can see there is a hole in it, and I like to take some paracord and make like a lanyard um, so I can hang in the kitchen area or I can hang inside the pantry. So I'm not just setting this little tiny piece of metal around and, and hoping to keep up with it when it's time to open a can. I hang them in places. And I'll cover them with a light co coating of oil. Um, not that they rust, just that it helps when I, uh, when I get to them, they're a little bit sticky. So I take some wa a washcloth and wipe them off and that keeps 
I don't, I don't know what it does. It just makes me feel better. It probably doesn't do anything but gather bacteria, so don't do that. But uh, So I just put a couple, I'm going to scatter them about, and the whole group's going to do that. And so when we take our group and our canned goods supply and we scatter 200 emergency can openers, because I wouldn't want to open our number 10 cans with this little guy. Uh, you, you could. I mean, I have. Um, but it definitely tests your grip in your hand. But uh, it's nice to know that if a, the bigger one breaks or you just need to open a little can, then, then you have an alternative. And they're lightweight. They're easy to stick anywhere. Like I said, this this bag, it fit, the whole thing fits in my hand, and it is a hundred of these can openers. Now, a bag of a hundred cost about 30 bucks. So they're about three cents a piece. Uh, by the time you add shipping, they're probably, they're probably four and a half cents, five cents a piece. And so, a hundred can openers for just my family would be a little bit of a kill, overkill. But 10 extra of these, or 15 extra of these, or I think six extra of these are what I'm going to get out of this, scattered about, uh, isn't a bad deal. I'll get more than that out of there. Nonetheless, pick some of these up. You can get them individually. You don't have to go crazy and buy 100 at a time. So pick them up, scatter them about. So that when the time comes when you want some stewed tomatoes of the Mexican variety, you can open your best choice can regardless of electricity or not, or if your big can opener fails or is missing. Thanks for watching. Let's get ready.